everybody, this is Elissa from Mink Arts and Crafts, and today I have an unboxing for you. This video, or this unboxing, is going to be from Oraloa, and this will be my first time uh, opening up an Oraloa uh, canvas. So I'm super excited about this. Um, so the one that I am going to be unboxing for you today, as you probably know from the, you know, uh, thumbnail for this video, is going to be um, Miss Ocean by Laura Philippone. I do not do French and this uh, Orloa is a Canadian company. Uh, French Canadian. Uh, French Canada. Sorry about that. Every time I sense, say, ooh, words are hard today apparently. Every time I say French Canadian and then I try to say Canada afterwards, I usually end up saying it incorrectly. It's always been an issue my entire life and uh, growing up in Michigan, Canada is like literally right there. So we are going to go ahead and open this up for you all. Uh, and you can see, I love the fact that they have right on the side of the box here, they'll have all the details. I'll go over this more in depth once I pull it out. Um, so I did uh, purchase few kits from them I just couldn't pass it up and I think they had like a discount code and I think that's why I purchased so many kits I think I ended up getting like five kits from them I know right it was a lot so but I was super excited this is your freebies from Orloa so you get this I was gonna say scratch and sniff <laughs> dating myself a little bit but your scratch off and then you get some stickers, the Oraloa stickers. Oraloa. That's kind of cool because they know I'm in uh, US, Oraloa Beach. And then you get a couple, kind of like an artist trading card uh, type thing with different images on there, which are not the images that I got. But those were kind of neat. And then, so this is like their gift bag that you get and like their thank you. Ah, having issues. And then you get these right here. So that's kind of cool um, that you get these. That took enough time. This is why I normally, when you see me do any kind of small shop haul or anything, I normally pre-stage by opening things because as you can see, I struggle with things. It shouldn't be this hard, but it is. Ugh. The struggle is real with me, you guys. And that was just to open the box. Nothing fancy, just the box. All right. Make sure the box is empty. Good. Now we have the bag. Boom. I like that it, it's not that really hard to open plastic of uh, other companies where you mangle the plastic trying to open it you empty the plastic all right here's our toolkit and it's got that felted back it's not the creepy felt of uh, certain other companies that have the creepy soft felt but it is a soft felted back does have the surging right there. We're gonna go over the toolkit really quickly. Um, Cause some people like to see the toolkit. I do not use the free toolkits. I wish most companies, I wish companies would have an option to like say uh, some of these larger companies, but some of these other companies would have an option to say no toolkit um, because I would do that. So that way I don't have these toolkits that I do not use cluttering up space. I have like a cardboard box full of toolkits that I do not use. Uh, so you have a pair of tweezers. They are very sharp, sharp tweezers. You have your pen, single placer on one end, multi-placer, looks like a three-placer on the other end. Also comes with a large um, multi-placer, looks like either a nine or a 10 placer. I don't know because I use the metal placers that give me, uh, tell me what number it is. And then you have the squishy to make this a little bit softer on your hand. You have nice large white uh, tray uh, to use for your drills, the plastic tray, and it's a MOSFA tray. 
So as far as these trays go, this is actually a really good quality one of these that's highly recommended uh, for those. So if you're somebody that likes those, that's a decent one to have. And then you have blue wax. That's one of the good things. You do get the blue wax and you get three pads of the blue wax. So if you do use this, make sure that you peel the um, plastic off of it first. Otherwise, you will be like, why can't I load my pen? So if you are a wax user, which I am not, uh, this type of wax user, which I am not, make sure to take the uh, plastic off of it if you've never used it before and this is your first time. But this is everything that you do need to get started if you are new to diamond painting. Now we're going to go into the part everybody's waiting for, the actual canvas. So this is, as you can see at the bottom, 50 by 70 uh, and it is, uh, ba, 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 and you will see. Ba, da, 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 da. So we're gonna go over these. So you get your um, diamond painting chart. So your instructions on what to do, how to do it. They go through everything that you need to know. It's in English on one side and it's in French on the other side because again, like I said, they're a French Canadian company. So they're going to make sure that they have the directions in both languages because both languages are used. Um, so you have your instructions there and then you have your sticker sheet. So the entire piece of paper is, well, the entire, entire sheet is a sticker. Um, these are individually cut. You've got all of these. This is 55 colors with, th oh wow, we've got a fair number of ABs on this one. So you've got one, two, three, four, five ABs, which is wonderful. I like that. So five ABs. And this is the image that we are doing, a little bit of a better picture, Miss Ocean by Laura. I don't know if that's how you would say Laura or Lore, I don't know. Uh, if it was Spanish, I could totally tell you how to pronounce it. Felipon, again, I don't do French pronunciations. That's like one language I never have done, but individually cut stickers. One thing I do notice, you can see the e on the third row, it looks like they were shifted a little bit with how they're printed. So half of that letter just got cut off and then the AB portion, the B got cut off, which is not a big deal because they're still gonna kit up perfectly fine on my trays. So here we will pull out our drills. They are rounds, but look at this color palette of these drills. They are beautiful and they are in individual baggies. Incredible. And now the part everybody wants to see, we'll show the canvas first. I am going to do a little bit of a roll back. See if I can roll it back a little bit. And these are not actually like rivers or anything. It's just how the plastic cover has kind of shifted a little bit uh, in the packaging and shipping. So as soon as you start working on the canvas and pull the plastic back, those will go away. Uh, it's just because of how it was rolled. Boom. Here is our image. Isn't she adorable? So uh, I consider Hawaii home. It's the first and only place I've lived as an adult that has felt like home to me. Uh, and when I retire from military, I plan on moving back to Hawaii. Uh, so this just makes me feel like I am back uh, home again. Um, so you've got the beautiful, gorgeous leaves coming down. And then you have the hula dancer. She's dancing. And uh, what I like is it's not the super, super stylized like girl with like the dancer wearing, you know, the coconut bras or anything like that. She's actually got more realistic of what it is for the actual uh, dancers with wrists, her lay around her head and ankles. And look how she's got this flower skirt and it's very subtle, but you can see how she's even got um, 
around. It won't come through on as well on a kit this small, but on the original, because uh, this is only a 50 by 70, but you can see she's even got uh, almost like some henna around, like some tattoo type uh, markings on. Uh, you, could, you can see on her arms, then a little bit down on her legs, but absolutely beautiful. And then I love this swirl here. And even the background, it's not just like this whole vast expanse of white on the background. Uh, you've got some different colors, which you can kind of see a little bit of color variation in here. Uh, so I thought this was beautiful. Then you've got this adorable little bird. And this to me just was like, okay, this is beautiful. I have to get it. Then you've got the blues coming down here. So this was the canvas and it does have those surged uh, protected edges to prevent any kind of um, fraying for the edges. You've got their logo up at the top. You've got the image right here with the artist's name and the title. You have your uh, legend here and then you have another legend down on this right side here. You also have where it shows that it's licensed and then you also have down on the bottom left so it says it's licensed right here you have the information and again they make it very obvious that this is the artist's name the size right there and then over here you can see as well um, the company's um, oh gosh what's this called Social media, there we go, that's the word I was looking for. And as you look, you can see very, very clear charting, nothing that's hard to read, at least that I'm seeing so far, very clear charting. And even as we come into this area, I'm not seeing anything that's hard to read. That looks good. I'm not seeing any numbers that are like, hard to distinguish one from the other. So those are really clear cut. Good. So now we're gonna flip it over and give you that white backdrop. And we are gonna look at some of these colors. All right. So we have 154, 155, 166, gorgeous color. That's a beautiful color. And then we roll into 208. We have one small bag of 310 compared to some of these other colors. And then you're gonna roll into a 318, 333, this tiny bag of 340. You have a 355, 470, 498, 562, small bag of that. Be a larger bag of 564, tiny bag of 600, which is beautiful color, this little bag of 701, I love 701, and then you have a 703, another gorgeous color, and then you go into 722, 726, 741, and then we have a large bag of 745, two bags of 746 right there two big bags of it actually no three big bags of 746 then we have a 760 761 so i like that you have these gradations in color a bag of 772 807 pretty blue 844 891 898 a little bit of brown, 905, I love the greens. My favorite color is green. 911, another pretty green. 943, 947, 956. Now we're gonna come over here. Oh, these are some of my favorite colors that we're rolling into. So 958, 959. 964, which we have two bags of 964, which is a really pretty color. Uh, then you have 995, 996, 3078, 
then we're coming into the last of them. Two bags of the 3078, 3364, 3609, 3705, which is a really pretty color, 3713, which is a pale pink. Then you have a 3721, this light blue, 3766, really pretty shade. You have a tiny amount of 3804, this pretty blue, 3843, this other pretty blue, 3846, 3849, and then we roll into our ABs. You have zero, you have, uh, they don't have these marked, so I'd have to look back on the list because they're just marked as bag 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, and 55. There is no marking of them. So for the ABs, you have uh, 50 is 307, so that's 307. This is 602. This one was not marked as an AB. This is 606, that one's not an AB. And then you have 704 AB, oh, love that green. And then you have 906, which is color 54. And then 907. So those gorgeous greens are gonna be the ABs. So those are our colors. All right, and now for the location of our ABs. So the first one that we have is this yellow, and you have some of this pretty yellow right here, which is the symbol J. You have some of it right up here in this flower. You also will see some of it over here scattered throughout the flowers here, a lot scattered here. Uh, also down throughout the flower that you'll see in her dress, there's some J's scattered throughout the petals of the flower in her, her skirt. So that's where you'll see the J. Number 51 is S and that's this pretty pink. There's not a lot of the pinks. So that one you're not gonna have nearly as much of. And that pink is the S and you're gonna see that right here in a few of them scattered here. Let's see, where else do we see the S? A couple of S's up in here. You'll see some there, some here, just kind of highlights throughout there. Some of them I said there. And let's see, where else do we have some S's? I think that's the main part that I'm seeing right now on her. Uh, up in the flower here. So you'll see some on the flower and you see some of them, like I said, on the um, wrapping of her wrap. Ooh, pardon me, I had a sneeze coming on. Uh, so you'll see them on her wrap, on her wrap for her skirt and the flower right up there. So that's our S for this pink one. Now we get into these gorgeous greens. The first green, the 704, is going to be the plus sign. In this plus sign, we see again down here, we also see this one scattered a little bit here. You'll see some of it here, here, here. And you do see some of the plus sign just kind of like scattered a little bit on the tips of uh, some of the, let me bring it up so you can kind of see because the greens are all gonna be working together for these three greens. Because you have the plus sign, the P, and the number two. So when it comes to the uh, Monstera leaves, which is what these look like, or Monstera leaves, you'll see you've got the plus sign and the P, like over here, you've got some plus sign and some P together, and then some twos all right there. Like we come down here and you've got some P's and some plus signs and some twos. Same thing as we come over there. There's some twos, you've got some P's, and so you've got some plus sign, some twos. That leaf doesn't have the P, but like right there, you see a bunch of P's highlighted in the center of my ring light on that leaf. So a lot of the plus sign. Same thing, there's a bunch of twos right there. There's a bunch of twos, then then they've got some plus sign. There's some plus signs all over there with some twos on the, I need like three hands to do this. Uh, whew, sorry, I didn't mean to knock my light. Uh, there are twos and some plus signs. 
some plus signs and some twos. And then as we come over, and the P's are right here, there's a little bit of the P there. Uh, you'll see a little bit in scattered throughout. You'll get like the plus sign in here. And then, then we also have a few P's kind of scattered throughout. So there's gonna be some a lot of confetti in this kit. Uh, so when I break it down, I really need to do it. And then this whole swirl of green all the way around her, this entire thing is AB, a green AB, that whole thing. But that is what we have for Miss Ocean with her gorgeous green ABs all throughout. And then this yellow AB and this pretty pink AB. But that is what you have for this kit. So beautiful canvas. I am super excited to do this one and just have to add it to my list of all of these amazing kits that I wanna do. It does have a wonderful amount of sticky. So very, very sticky, which is wonderful. And that's what we want is that beautiful sticky. And I can't wait to work on her. She's gonna be gorgeous and beautiful to do. So you guys definitely check out Oraloa. This is a wonderful kit and I'm looking forward to do it. And this is a round, as you can tell by the, the, the drills here, because I love my rounds, as you, Moji makes her way out of the windowsill to show her presence. She's like going for her box. She's done sitting in the window, so she's gotta go for the box. All right, well, I will see you guys in the next video. Definitely check out Oraloa, beautiful, beautiful kit. They've got some wonderful artwork up there. Check it out.